Hey guys, Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA video, we're going to be talking about reports of individuals actually unboxing and having GTA 6, loading it up into their consoles and starting to play. We'll be talking about all of that in this video today and a whole lot more. So the other day in a previous video, we talked about something that happened on TikTok. It involved the extremely popular musician, The Weeknd and his music video or music video animation for his song, Blinding Lights, and how there was actually a comment that appeared like literally in the animation video that said GTA 6 trailer. And we basically debunked that and explained how that was just a comment left on the original TikTok video that was created, and thus it ended up making its way into the video. Well, today we're going to be breaking down something incredibly interesting that has also appeared on TikTok involving GTA 6. And it comes from the user Luca JVN. When I'm recording this video, he's following zero people, has 18.2 thousand followers on TikTok. Uh, and the only thing in his bio is a palm tree and an alien UFO. And he has three videos currently on his TikTok channel. And all of them have to do with GTA 6, literally unboxing the game, putting it into his system, and then loading it up. And I want to be breaking down all of them in this video today because I've been getting a lot of questions about that. So this first video was uploaded on August 30th, and you can see that it's an unboxing of what looks to be a custom Rockstar Games box. And as the camera sort of pans over to the right, there's a, like a little white note or envelope that says like rockstar congratulations inside of the box itself there is a shirt there is a sticker and then there is a ps5 game cover of grand theft auto 6 and you can see it's for the ps5 in the bottom right hand corner it has the rockstar games logo and in the bottom left hand corner it has like the 18 plus rating logo that you would typically see on titles and you can also see that it has like the pretty standard sort of rock star Grand Theft Auto style of artwork on the front. And then, of course, the GTA 6 logo. And a lot of people are wondering, uh, is this real? Is this like the only guy in the world that has Grand Theft Auto 6? There's even like a sticker that he ended up pulling out as well. And the answer is no, this obviously is not real. So number one, we haven't heard anything from Rockstar regarding GTA 6. So why would the game already be out? Why would the logo already be decided on? And why would this one person in the world already have it? So that's the first thing that makes this incredibly obvious is we haven't heard anything from Rockstar. So why would one guy on the planet have the game and no one else end up having it? The next thing that makes this very obviously not real is the logo. So even though that is a really cool GTA 6 logo, and it does look convincing, like it could be the real thing, this is actually someone that a fan has already created. In fact, the original logo was actually created by someone on the GTA 6 official Discord, a user Superkiller232. They created this logo back in early 2020. So this isn't something custom from Rockstar, this is actually just something that is fan-made. So because of that, right off the bat, Rockstar is not going to use a fan-created logo for GTA 6. They're going to have their own in-house design team come up with the entire logo. It's going to be completely custom, everything like that. So that's the second thing that's a big giveaway. The next thing that is a big giveaway is the artwork itself on the cover. It's really well done, like they did a good job of picking out images that would look like Grand Theft Auto characters and scenery. But Rockstar has like a, a handful of particulars that make every cover the same. Like for example, have you noticed that in every Grand Theft Auto cover, there's always a helicopter in the top left hand corner? This one, for example, doesn't have that. Now, there's a lot of other things that I could point out and say like, you know, that isn't what Rockstar would do. But that's like one of the big dead giveaways. If there's no helicopter in the left-hand corner, you can pretty much guarantee that it's fake. And the rest of it as well could very easily be made up. The stickers, the congratulations message from Rockstar. So none of that is all that hard to come up with. So that's the first video that's been circulating on this individual's channel. The second video that's been circulating is the actual unboxing of the game itself. And so as you guys can see there, whoever this person is, they're wearing like gloves 
and they're unboxing what is like a, what looks like a PS5 game case, and it's wrapped in cellophane. And a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, how did it get wrapped in that? Like, that has to be official. Like, believe it or not, it's actually really easy to wrap something in like a cellophane plastic like that. So just because you see something wrapped in that kind of plastic doesn't mean that it's 100% legit. And as you guys can see there, he doesn't even show the back of the box. So this very easily could have been like a, a PS4 case. And he just like slipped in the custom artwork for the PS5 and Grand Theft Auto 6. And then obviously wrapped it up in cellophane as well. So the fact that we don't see the back here, the fact that it's not extremely difficult to have something wrapped up in this. And this gives us yet another view of the front cover and some of the inconsistencies that we actually see here when you compare it to like a normal Rockstar Games uh, Grand Theft Auto logo and also a normal Rockstar Games Grand Theft Auto box art. So that was like the next big thing, at least as far as this video goes. Now, these videos have a tremendous amount of views. The first one I showed you had 3.9 million views at the time of me recording this one. And this video that you just took a look at right here it has almost 100,000 views. So needless to say, this is gaining a lot of traction. That's why a lot of people have been asking me questions about this. So I can understand why it's confusing because it does legitimately look very real. Now the unboxing with the gloves, that one was uploaded a week ago. So I don't know if this individual has a particular pattern of doing like one video per week because then that leads us to the final video which was uploaded when I'm recording this about a day ago, and it actually looks like it's them putting GTA 6 into their PlayStation 5, which you can barely see on the right-hand side, and literally loading it up on their TV. So the way it starts is he sort of pans over to the PlayStation 5, then his television. You can see there's the same Grand Theft Auto 6 logo. The screen goes black temporarily, and a pinkish purple and yellow Rockstar Games neon logo ends up loading up on the screen very briefly before sort of flickering in and out and then he pans back to the PlayStation 5. Now one of the most interesting things about this for sure is like that PlayStation 5 model on the right hand side. I don't know if that's like a cardboard cutout. I don't know if it is like a 3D model that someone has created. Either way it looks incredibly good like almost lifelike and the same size and obviously the same shape. But again just because you see it next to this guy's TV just because it looks legit doesn't mean that it necessarily is. Uh, obviously, we don't have a ton of information yet on the PlayStation 5. It's obviously not out. It's not available right now. So it's not like someone can go to like Best Buy or Walmart and pick something like this up. And then as far as what we're seeing on the screen, this is something that could very easily be manipulated. In fact, you see a lot of other games there that aren't out either, like Cyberpunk and even the new Spider-Man game. And then, of course, on the very left, you can see Grand Theft Auto 6. So I'm assuming this is what this individual believes will be the new PlayStation 5 interface and UI. It's a very, very, very convincing fake. But at the end of the day, that's what you need to remember this is. All of this has been created just for TikTok, just for social media. And don't get me wrong, it's been incredibly successful because it has millions of views like all together. This individual has done an incredible job. They have made this look just about as realistic as you possibly can. I mean, you have to be a diehard Rockstar Games fan to know the ins and outs that would make this look not real. And even if you are a diehard Rockstar Games fan, you still have to kind of look at it a couple of times to make sure like, wait a minute, is this actually real? Is this fake? Because I'm sure a lot of people might not know the ins and outs and the quirks that would separate something from being real or fake, like the fact that that's a fan-made logo, the fact that you know there's certain elements of the box art that don't match Rockstar's artistic style. So just stuff like that, this is incredibly cool though. If you want to watch the videos for yourself, I will leave a link to Luca's TikTok in the description. Who knows if he's going to create more videos like this? I can only assume that he probably is, given how it looks like he's releasing one video per week. And it's almost a progression. So if the first video was the unboxing, then the actual taking it out of the cellophane, then it's inside of the PlayStation 5 and he's loading it up. Is like the next part going to be like gameplay? Is it going to be like showing the map, quote unquote? This is something interesting we'll follow. Obviously, just know for now that it's it's fake. It's fan made. 
But I would love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Did you know that this individual created this? And did you think it was real the first time you ended up seeing it? Let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.